Hey YouTube, this is a follow-up that I wanted to do related to uh, the brachialis uh, muscle that uh, I actually shot, I think it's about three weeks ago. Uh, I'm gonna make this follow-up really, really quick. So, uh, I went to the doctor on February 1st, uh, probably had a level 7, level 8 pain uh, in my brachialis muscle, my left hand or my left arm. Uh, just fighting with that for months and months and months. Uh, and then he told me, hey, do compound movements. And I kind of got into that in my first video. This follow-up is to say after six weeks, as of March 15th, 100% uh, pain-free. 100%. So uh, literally in six weeks, I went from, like I said, level 7, level 8 on a 1 to 10 to zero pain for the first time in a long time. And uh, again, I want to just reiterate what I did to get to that point. And I'm not trying to say that I know this will work for everybody. I, I hope it works for everybody, but it massively worked for me. So all I did was twice a week, at the beginning, twice a week, on Monday and Thursday, I would do, uh, I did three sets of eight chin-ups. Um, I, I didn't use bands or anything like that. I did body weight. If you need bands, by all means, do that. But I did uh, three sets of eight body weight. Then I actually did uh, bicep ladders, uh, where you're just kind of moving the bar up and then just go into failure. Again, just like chin ups on the, the bicep ladder, you can look that up on YouTube and see what they are if you're not familiar with that. Then I did uh, cable rows. Uh, I would start at 130 and work my way up to about 180. Uh, just kind of go into failure, underhand cable rows, doing that. Uh, then I went over to uh, the pull down bar and I would do uh, three sets of eight at 130 uh, and just worked out that way. And then I would go over and use uh, some uh, barbells. I think I started at 60 pounds on the barbells and I just did uh, kind of hunched over rows, right? So, um, and I think I did like three sets of 10 at, at 60 pounds. Did that for the first uh, three to four weeks and then uh, kind of up my game. So then on chin-ups, I did uh, uh, put a 25 pound plate uh, between my knees and uh, I was doing uh, uh, five sets of six reps on the chin-ups. Uh, then I would uh, then go from that and I would actually do, um, well, I just started in a chin-up position and let myself down as slowly as I could. I do three sets like that with the 25-pound plate. Then I would go over to uh, um, the uh, um, bicep uh, ladder and I would do that. Then I would go over and I would do the uh, cable rows. I, I increased my, my weight. I would go from uh, 150 up to 200 on the rows. Uh, just to failure each time. Then I would do pull downs, cable pull downs, uh, still about 130 pounds, uh, do three sets of eight. Then I would go over and then do uh, the uh, kind of hunched over rows uh, with the barbells. Uh, went up a little bit in weight, went to 90 pounds, did three sets of eight. Uh, did that twice a week. And after six weeks, uh, literally I am pain free. Uh, now, what I've not done yet is reintroduced isolation movement. I did it once last week just to kind of see, and I had no pain, but I can tell I, I'm, I'm not 100%, right? So I'm pain-free, but I'm not 100% ready to go yet. And so I decided, hey, for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to stay out of the isolation stuff. Part of that, too, was over the weekend. I was doing a lot of work in the yard, where whether I liked it or not, I was using a flathead shovel, and that certainly created a lot of isolation movement. And so... Uh, all the more, I'm just going to kind of let that still go for a couple of weeks. But that was a big aid to me. So I don't know if that helps you in any way. But I know sometimes you watch these videos and people are in the middle of their pain trying to say how to get it done. That's really what my first video was too. Uh, so I just want to do a follow-up really quick and say, hey, did it for six weeks, total pain-free. So I can push, you know, dig in there. I mean, before I couldn't touch it, you know, and now I can just doesn't bother me a bit. It's awesome. So I uh, hope that helps you guys. It was all compound movement. That was the big thing. And here's a dividend, by the way, of the compound movement. Uh, I found that it, it works the forearms tremendously. I ended up seeing some gain and strength in my forearms because all that compound movement, especially on the rows uh, and, and, and the pull downs, it's all you're, lots of finger grip in there. So it's really working the, 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 just the, the forearms a lot more. So kind of a surprise dividend I didn't plan on was uh, both gain and strength in, in my forearms. So again, just another kind of bonus for going that route. So I hope this helps you guys out. And, and I hope whatever you're fighting with when it comes to 
the brachialis can can get dealt with again for me it was terrible and now it feels great it's nice to grab my gym bag and and not be like wincing or whatever else and so uh again just a quick follow-up uh keep going to the gym keep making it happen and like i said for me this was a huge help and so uh hopefully it helps you out as well hey guys have a great one all right peace